Hey there, welcome back or welcome if you're new here to my channel. My name is Sunset City ASMR. You can call me Caroline. That's my real name. Anyways, today, as you can tell by the title or the way I set up the whole video, it's very different. I do believe this is our first legit podcast. I've done one video. Um, like a podcast thingy a while ago. I don't remember exactly when, but I do remember I made one before and I hated it. <laughs> like I'm being, I'm being honest. Um, but yeah, I've been wanting to do a podcast like this just to sit, chill, and talk with you guys about like a specific topic. So yeah. And um, the reason why I'm posting this on my second channel is because this is not ASMR. I'm not whispering. I'm not talking. Like, I don't think this is my normal talk voice. I'm not doing soft-spoken either. I don't know what kind of voice this is, but it sounds deep and I freaking love it. <laughs> All right. Um, welcome to our first official podcast episode one we're going to talk about a lot of things here oh my gosh i'm so nervous i don't even know what to talk about <laughs> i just thought i'm so sorry about this long intro i just thought um it's a beautiful day i want to create this chill vibe sitting on our couch i think i said this before already <gasps> well <laughs> okay <laughs> um anyways yes we are going to talk today we're going to talk about something asmr related so before i get into it it would literally literally make my day if you could hit that subscribe button leave a like and a comment down below being a podcast podcast producer has always been a dream to me and i feel like today could be a good start and i did order a microphone a couple of days ago and it's gonna show up <clears throat> sorry about my cracky voice it's gonna show up this weekend so for the next episode we'll be using that mic um and that mic specifically for podcasting so yeah i hope you guys will enjoy like having this oh is this is my tummy excuse me i'm hungry though <laughs> This is a, like on my second channel, like I said before, it is a place, a safe space for me to share my life with you, my passionate, and more importantly, my personality. So yeah, we we'll just chill here. You go get, get yourself a drink. I'm okay with that. I just had a cup of coffee earlier today. That's my breakfast. Um, yeah, let's get into it. So I have my iPad here. I'm not like other podcast producers, like they have everything scripted on their mind. I don't. <laughs> um, so I was asking myself, so, hey, what kind of podcast do you want to make? And I was like, I don't really have a good idea about that. So I am use I was using this like great tool. I've been using it for a while, no matter it's for ASMR or for other things. ChatGPT. Of course you have heard about it, right? It's literally everywhere. So I typed I typed in so I said, Hey, give give me some um like podcast ideas and here's what they gave us. And I do think it's it's pretty good. Um, here, let me just put this up. Okay, we have some trouble with that. I'm not a big, um, big fan of editing, so let's just keep this thing easy. Okay, so it gave us some ideas. And for today, I really, really want to dive into gentle conversations. Like I said, it's ASMR related. So 
we have one, two, three, four, five, five little topics about it. I'm just gonna give you a general idea. The first one is creative journey and inspiration. The second one is mental health and mindfulness. The third one is challenges and success. Fourth, ASMR and calming techniques. Last but not least, advice and reflections. So for today, episode one, I really want to dive into creative journey and inspiration. Just to talk, you know, just to share about my opinions and keep it simple and chill. Okay, so according to ChatGPT, um, he's or they or she, I don't know, it gave us some um, like ideas about gentle conversations to guide calm, relaxing interviews with your guests. And clearly, I don't have a guest over here. My partner does not like being on camera so he's happy being a cameraman i'm not gonna push him to f- sit down and film a video with me um like two years ago i believe i i hit 1k or 2k subscribers i don't remember but anyways he did that for me like giving me a head massage video i posted it that was like, I felt like that was a lot to ask. So I'm not going to push him. I'm not going to ask him to film another video with me. Because, you know, got to respect people's preferences, right? So you guys are my guests for today. Um, I'm going to pretend that I'm doing this interview with you. But do not worry. Everything is chill. We're chill. You don't have to worry about your answer. I feel like this is a great way to help you, you know, give a little reflection about yourself. You know what I mean? So I'm going to ask you those questions. And I, oh my gosh, my tummy, good show. (laughs) And I will be answering them as well. You know, sharing some experiences. Okay, so question number one. Can you tell us about how you first discovered your passion for their art slash field and we're going to keep this simple ASMR for today so can you tell us about how you first discovered your passion for ASMR go ahead you can tell me your answer (laughs) all right all jokes aside I'm going to tell you about how I first discovered my passion for asmr because a lot of people asked me this question before and i do believe i answered this in my previous q a videos i don't remember when but i do get this question asked a lot that was like five four or five years ago i was browsing on my phone there is an app it's a chinese app it's called little red book Um, I was just browsing on there. That was when ASMR really just got popular. Like all, like just like, you know what I mean. (laughs) Um, So I was browsing and I was watching Gracie K. China Unique ASMR and uh, Karuna Satori ASMR. Gracie K ASMR is Gracie Gracie K is definitely the first ASMR artist that got me into ASMR, but back then I was not a big fan of too much talking. I'm still not a big fan of too much talking, like talking, 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 talking nonstop in the whole video. I'm not. I like to talk, like chat a little bit, and then focus on trigger and talk a little bit. So. Um, thanks to Gracie K, I got hooked on ASMR, and then I discovered China Unique. She is so amazing. Oh my gosh, her videos about um, like lipsticks, sounds, mouth sounds. I was not a fan of wet mouth sounds, but her mouth sounds is just it's different. It's so tingly to me, and I loved her videos so much. So I've been watching her, even for now, I still watch her videos. 
I watch her videos and then Karuna Satori, like they're all like OG content creators. I've been watching her until this day as well. Just like they're so amazing. And then I was like Karuna Satori ASMR. She is the one that gave me um the idea and be brave enough to actually film a video and then post it. So I will forever be grateful for that, and I'll forever、um, support her. She's just so amazing. So, yeah, that's how I first discovered my passion because I start to tap on things randomly because you watch too much ASMR videos. <laughs> All right, moving on to second question. What inspires your work? Do you have any specific sources of inspiration, like music, nature, or other artists? Moment of silence. <laughs> All right. So, what inspires my work? Hmm, that's a very good question. I gotta say, if I stop watching ASMR videos, like no matter it's before bed or during the day, I would. Like one hundred percent for sure, I would lose my, I don't know, like my creation. I would just, I want to stop. I don't know what to film. I don't want to film, and that's okay. Like everybody needs a little break, especially when you keep doing something for a long time, right? You need a little break. That's okay. I mean, for the first year of. Being a content creator, it was easy. Like you just you keep having different ideas. You just wanna film. You just wanna put them out there. You wanna edit. You wanna, you know, just be proud of your work. And then second year kicks in. Sometimes you feel like、mm, it's it's a lot. <laughs> it's a long journey, and I don't see a lot of results. You know. You don't have a lot of subscribers. You don't. It's just meh, and you want to give up. And then, you know, you just keep going, and then the third year is like really freaking hard. And all of a sudden, you just you never give up, and then whoop, it goes up. So it kind of gives me, it gives me a lot of like energy and, um. I just want to keep going because I see all of my hard work got paid off. Like people, they they like me, and I get it why my videos were not viral before because you know they really they suck. <laughs> I am honestly like I am scared of watching my own videos. I think they're so cringy, cringy and clingy. I hated my voice and the way I look at the camera is just so not natural.、Um, I don't know why. Oh my gosh, the sky is so dark all of a sudden. <laughs> um, yeah, like for now because practice, you know, you just keep filming, keep talking to the camera. I am very comfortable talking to the camera right now. So yeah, and of course, like four years of practicing doing ASMR, you gotta like you gotta be better at doing something than you first started this, right? So yeah,、um, I definitely do feel like I want to keep filming.、Um, if I get certain amount of views or comments, likes, whatever, and also I do get inspirations from other content creators because. If I look at their, if I watch their videos, I would be like, "Wow, their voices are just so relaxing." I wonder if I could do the same. Like, I want to film. I want to whisper. You know what I mean? So I would, I would just keep going. I would have ideas,、um, and also another great tool, Chat GPT. I would use it. It's not always helpful. So you gotta be careful with it. You gotta pick, pick some topics that you like, that is, you. You know what I mean, and then you add your own 
style to it. So ChatGPT, I highly recommend it. And also another source of inspiration is that I do do role plays sometimes, not all the time. I do have a green screen, and I would go on apps looking for pictures for green screen. Right? I would look for pictures, and I'll be like, "Oh, this picture, I want to do this. That picture, I want to do that." I have just, I just have a general idea about what I want to do with those pictures, like who I want to be, what kind of stories I want to tell. So yeah, that's definitely one of the sources. Uh. Music, not really. Nature,、mm, sometimes, like the video I will, I will post, like later in October. It's all scheduled out. Um, there's a video I filmed outdoor because I really, I'm really into outdoor ASMR. I think it's really relaxing. I filmed the video in the woods. It was really nice. Yeah. All right. Moving on. Um, third question: How has your creative process evolved over time? <laughs> All right, I think I kind of talked, like I kind of answered this question for the second question. <laughs> Definitely,、um, like your skill got so much better. Like the way how natural you are while talking to the camera and the way you do ASMR, it definitely got improved over time because of practice. Like hundreds and hundreds of practice, you just you just gotta keep doing it. And while you are editing your own videos, you 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 realize, oh, next time I don't want to do this anymore. I want to change the way I. Tap things to make it tingly. You know what I mean. Like you, you watch your own videos and then you reflect on that. So for me, that's how I evolved. Evolved. <laughs> My skills got better over time. Cause you gotta. Oh, sorry. You gotta keep learning. Uh, you gotta keep going. So yeah, definitely practice. That was short. <laughs> okay,、um, and also thinking about all of my old videos. Sometimes I go through them. I see the title, and I remembered like the way how I filmed it, and I realized, oh, I don't really like that because over time. So when you first started your own channel, you were not just being you. You know what I mean. You are mimicking somebody because you are learning. By learning something, and at the end, you create your own style. You gotta, you gotta copy somebody. So that's how that's how like I got better now, because now it's just me. I didn't like my old videos. I feel like they're, I don't know. It just it doesn't feel like me. So yeah, definitely keep practicing. And keep keep reflecting on your old work, and you'll get better for sure. All right.、Uh, question number four: Are there any routines or rituals you follow when you're creating or working? So, for me, my ritual, like I normal, like before, I really, really liked filming at night because it's just so. When I was living in China, it was really loud. Like the cars, not just the cars, but people, like neighbors, kids screaming all the time, and constructions nonstop. So I had to wait until like midnight, even for eleven o'clock. The kids would be running upstairs nonstop. It just, it was so crazy, and I realized that, that was not healthy for my health. Like you gotta stay up so late. And then, I have to get up. I had to get up early in the morning to work. So, yeah. And then we moved here.、Um, it's very quiet. But the problem is, my film room it has a big 
window and it's facing the street. And where we live, the street is very busy. By talking about busy, I mean just cars. Oh, sorry. I'm just I'm just really hungry. I gotta go get some food later. <laughs> So even at night, at twelve o'clock, you would still hear some cars. So now, I am a full-time content creator.、Um, I'm still looking for a job to do because、um, YouTube cannot support my daily expense. I'm not talking about like shopping crazily. I'm just talk. I'm talking about normal, basic life needs like your your bill for. Oh, because we're renting this house. Your rent bill, your electricity bill, like your food, groceries, like gas. Right now,、um, how like the money YouTube pays me is enough for groceries only for a month. So it's not enough. So I'm still, I'm still looking for a job. I just got my PR. Status, which is great, yay! Congrats to myself.、Um, before I got my PR, I was a new immigrant here. I could not work, so I've been doing ASMR. I'm very, very grateful for that. I'm really, really grateful for my partner, just supporting our family. He's been working so hard, so now I finally I got my PR. I could looking for a job. I could start looking for a job, so yeah, I will do that. I'll keep doing that, like keep working until the day I could make YouTube my full-time job, which would be super awesome. Okay, going back, what was the question again? <laughs> All right, rituals, right? Oh my gosh. So now, because I am a full-time content creator for now, I can, you know, I stay at home. I would film in the morning. I don't film at night. So I would get up early. My routine is to get ready, wash up, do my makeup, have my morning coffee. That's my ritual. Set up my room. I I mean I don't really need to set up my filming room because it's all done. I just need to turn on the lights. So yeah, that's my ritual. Get ready in the morning, do my makeup and coffee. <laughs> and um, so. Yeah, and、um, for creating, I would, I would think about some ideas. Like after filming, I would, like immediately, I would go editing some videos. For now, I'm, like nowadays, I just stopped like heavy editing because just like a lot of work. Like I film at least one video a day. Normally, it's just one video a day, but I. Um, like imagine you have three clips that are waiting for you to edit on your camera. So each clip is twenty minutes, and you have to go through each clip. That's like twenty minutes times three. That's that's an hour, and it takes more than an hour to edit. It takes more than twenty minutes to edit one video because you gotta. You gotta pause, and then you add something. Like you don't like this part, you cut it out. Blah 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 blah. It just is just a lot of work. I love, I absolutely love filming, but I hate, I hate editing. So I tried out the method of like, reach out your palm, like pause, give me, give myself a little sign that you don't have to like watch the whole clip, but actually you can just zoom in. You know, into like, into each, each individual clip, and then you can just quickly go through and you find a palm thing, and then you watch that part and you'll be like, oh, okay, this is the part I need to cut off. But still, it's a lot of work. It definitely reduces time, but still, it's a very time-consuming work. So now I just, I keep going, because now I feel more comfortable talking to the camera as well. I don't really need to cut off a lot of things, unless it's like sneezing or something. <laughs> so now I just I just keep going, and then after editing, I would think about oh maybe it's time for me to plan 
to schedule my videos. I've been pretty good at doing that because now, like today is October tenth, my videos are good, and for until the end of October twenty October twenty ninth. Because there are thirty one days in October, right? <laughs> I do need a special video for Halloween. So other than that, my October is good. Um, I need to think about what I should do, what I should film for November soon. Because I have a job interview on October eighteenth. If I do get a job, I need to work at least thirty hours a week. Which means I can't keep filming like how I normally do.、Um, I gotta change my schedule a little bit and、um, just make sure that I have a video every two days. Yeah, no, sorry, every other day. So yeah. So that is my answer for that question. Okay, last but not least for today's. Episode: Do you ever experience experience creative blocks, and how do you overcome them? Gives you the mic. All right. Um. Yes. Yes. It is very very common. And two years ago, two years ago, I was this close. I'm talking about this close to give up on my ASMR journey. I was like, I'm I'm just. I was just done. I, like, I didn't know what to film. I feel like nobody watches my videos. Um, what's the point of keep going? You know what I mean. And then my amazing supportive partner told me that you, you've, you've achieved so far. You already achieved one k subscribers. Like, look at you. It's amazing. Like, you worked so hard. So. Don't just give up because for now you don't feel like going. You don't have any creation going on. Like just keep going. Don't give up because the the amount of work and time you put into this thing, it deserves more. You just you you shouldn't give up. Like it's not worth it. So I listened to him. I I was like, you're right. I shouldn't. I spent too much time and effort in this. I shouldn't just like give up like that. So I kept going.、Um, there were definitely times that I had some creative blocks, but like I said,、um, for question number two, I do have different sources to overcome my creative blocks, like using ChatGPT or. Just looking for like different ideas on、um, YouTube Studio. There's like a little bar there says inspiration or creation. I don't remember, but anyways, you can go there. You can check out like popular trends, like topics, and then you just you just sit down and film. Like the moment you sit down and turn on your camera,、uh, looking for some triggers. You're you're good to go. Like you know what to do. So just put your ass down there <laughs> and get to work. Don't be like, oh, I don't know what to film. I'm so I'm so blocked. Create creative blocks. You know, like I I don't know what to do. So I'm just gonna I'm I'm just gonna do nothing today. Don't do that. Sit down. Turn a camera. You you will you will have something. Like for today, I didn't really know what to film. And then I was like,、ah, just sit down, like do something. You know what I mean? Because I did a bunch of chores yesterday, and today I'm like, just film, like keep this habit, like film at least one video a day. So I sat down. I was like, oh, oh, okay, I can do this. So I filmed this、um, sleepover at a girl who, who's like super, who has got a super. Big crush on you, like who's like obsessed with you,、um, little little role play thing. It was fun, and I was like, I don't wanna, I don't wanna post it later. I wanna post it now. So I already posted a video like yesterday. It was all scheduled up, and my next video is supposed to be out tomorrow. 
and then I was like, you know what? Thank, thanks to you guys. Thank you, everybody. Um, I hit 8K yesterday or the day before yesterday. I don't, I don't quite remember. I think it could be yesterday. So I posted this video today as an extra one, extra one for 8K, 8K special. So yeah, you just gotta sit down, turn on camera, and get to work. You will have something. I promise you. So, all right, loves. This is all for today's episode and tomorrow, not tomorrow, I mean for the next episode, we're going to talk about mental health and mindfulness. I do think it's a very, very important thing. So, yeah, I hope you had fun. I had fun. At least I had fun. And I don't know how this podcast is going to turn out. I don't know how many views I'm going to get. I don't know how people is going to feel about it. But I'm going to keep doing it because it's just a little thing for me. Like, I love it. I always want to be a podcast. You know, just um, something like a little video. You can turn it turn it on, play it in the background when you're doing chores. You put your headphones on in. <laughs> or like when you're driving or... You just wake up, you want to play something to get you ready in the morning, you know what I mean? It's just something chill and relaxing, and that is my goal. So, yeah, thank you thank you all so much for joining me today, for watching this. I love you all. I love you all <laughs> so, so much, and I'll see you again really, really, really soon in my next video. And stay safe. Sending out all my loves to, I think it's in Florida. Um, please stay safe, guys. Take care. And yeah, have a lovely day. Okay, bye. <laughs>